everybody, it's Alice K. Ruckelhouse <laughs> of Threshold F and Amy, and we're about to do something really exciting. We're going to make the cover. It may take a couple videos to do it, I'm not sure. It's going to be very simple and straightforward, but it does take a little bit of time. And I wanted to show you some other things. Now we're going to be making a fabric cover because I've just come to really, really prefer those. But I want to show you that you can also make a paper cover. These are three journals that I'm in the process of working on. And this is a paper cover that I've put lots of beads on. This is the one I was going to use as my summer journal, but I think now it's probably going to be my winter journal. Um, and so it's got paper and fabric throughout, but the whole outside of this is all paper and ribbon and beads. Okay, and then here's another one that I'm working on. I've bound it, but I haven't put my beads on, so I haven't cut this off yet. Um, so this is all, this is paper on the front with a little bit of fabric and ribbon, buttons, more ribbon, some rhinestones, and one of them fell out. <laughs> I'll have to replace that one. Okay, so that's another that I'm working on. And then this is one that I've been working on for quite a while. It's one of the first ones that I started. Um, it's a Tennessee, East Tennessee, Monroe County, actually. Everything in here is from Monroe County, where I live. And so it, this is all paper that I've sewn on here with some buttons and some cheesecloth to make it look real grungy. And there's beads hanging here from the bottom. So that's what you can do with paper. I mean, you can almost do more with paper than with fabric. But um, I don't know, I've, I've done a few now with fabric and I just really, really like it because it's, it feels more durable to me and it just, I like the feel of fabric more and I don't feel like I have to be as careful with it. So I know that I want this for the outside cover. I'm just, I usually use something different for the inside, whether I'm using paper or fabric. Oh, and sometimes I use fabric on the outside and paper on the inside. Um, so I'm thinking this for the inside, but I like this fabric so much and I like the way that it looks with these roses. And then also I wanted to have this on the inside cover and I like the way it looks with that better than with this. So I really think I'm going to set this aside and just use this on the inside and the outside. Okay, so I have a lot of different ways that I make covers, but the one that I'm boiling down to and have been doing the most is using some a file folder inside of it and then sewing the fabric to both sides of the file folder. And we're going to cut this. Okay, now I have in some, some, for some of my journals, I have cut it like here so that I have this part with all of the little um, scoring on it so that I can fold it and make it a thicker journal, but this isn't gonna be all that thick. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut it this way. Let me just measure and make sure that's going to be big enough. Um, this is eight and one quarter inches. Actually, that might not be big enough. So let's see what our biggest pages are. These are just under eight inches. Oh, I'll use the other side. If I use the other side, then that is nine inches. Okay, that's perfect, because that gives us a little bit of leeway. I want the cover to be a little bit bigger, like about a quarter of an inch on each side, bigger than the height of the journal. So let's go ahead and cut the height part first. Okay, and it's just easier, I think, to tear it where it's folded so we're going to do that this is all going to be inside the fabric so if you know I tear off a little bit unevenly then that's okay but it, usually it's pretty easy to tear that part is this the smaller this is the larger piece that's what I want and I'll set that aside for another journal so I want this what did I say this was it's really important you guys to be accurate on this part most of the journal you don't have to be so careful with, but okay, so we're talking eight and one eighth. So I want about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. So let's say, let's pretend like that was eight and one fourth. 
and so we want a half inch more because we want a quarter inch more at the top, a quarter inch more at the bottom. So eight and one fourth, so eight and three fourths is where we want to cut it. Okay, so eight and three fourths. I'm gonna go just a little tiny bit beyond that. And there we go. And see this little part here that's kind of, there's a little bite out of it because that's just the way that the file folder is made. That's okay, you're not even gonna be able to tell. Oops, I still need this out. Okay, and then, how wide do I need it to be? Okay, so this is how big it is. But by the time that you get things closed and everything, it's probably actually gonna need to be about like that. Yep, I think so. Because by the time that you get that closed around this, yeah, that's perfect. So we don't need to cut, we don't need to make another cut. Okay, so, um, I would say, you know, on the top and the bottom, you probably want it to be a quarter inch on the top and a quarter inch on the bottom. So half an inch total, more than the height of your tallest pages. Okay, and then for the width, it needs to be able to wrap around. So this is just right. So for, I mean, and this isn't going to be a super thick journal. I've had some that are really, really thick. So for this, let's say, because I want to, give you guys as much information as possible. This is this is an inch longer than the length of the paper. Okay? So that's I think that's a good guideline to go with. Okay? So we're going to set aside the journal that we've been working on here and we're just going to work on the cover. Okay, so the next thing is and don't let me forget to sew that in. In fact, I'm going to put that right there. So the next thing is to cut your fabric and this is so nice, you guys. I got this at Walmart. It's Waverly, which is a good brand. I was just really thrilled to see it. And I think I got it for $3 a yard because <laughs> it was on sale. They still have some more, but it's not $3 a yard. I don't know what it is. I didn't see. Oh, $2.50. So not bad. Okay, so we're going to cut two pieces. That's like laid out almost evenly. So we're gonna cut right here and then I can, and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear it rather than cutting it. Okay, so let's take this price tag thingy off of it. We don't need that. And I like to tear it because I like it to be, you know, a little tattery. It's gonna fray some. So I don't want it to be like this perfectly cut stuff. Now I have to decide, do I want the design to go that way or this way? And I think I want it to go this way, which I know is probably not right, but that's okay. It's my journal. I get to do it my way. So I'm going to cut in just a little bit because I want my scraps to be big enough to be able to do something with them, like make tabs or something. Okay. And I'm going to cut. I mean, not cut, I'm going to tear a little bit more than what I need here. Okay, I've got the selvage, and the selvage is white, so I'm going to have to tear that too. So I need to go a little bit farther. Okay, like that. That's good. Okay, yeah, so this wasn't on the grain, so that's another good reason to tear it. So that you get it all on the grain. And then. I don't have a lot of space to work here. Um, I'm going to make sure that I get rid of this white part here. So I'm going to cut just a bit here. And tear that. Make sure that I've torn enough. Doesn't matter if I've gone too far because I'm going to want to cut, tear that off in the future too. I want to make it a little bit bigger than the file folder piece. Not a lot bigger, but a little bit bigger. Definitely bigger, not smaller, because you don't want your file folder to show, right? Okay, and this comes just about right, so I'm going to cut a little piece right there. I just cut in just a tiny, tiny bit so that I can tear it. There we go. That's about the same. And we will 
sorry, it's hard to work on this little space. And then we're going to just cut a little tiny notch there so that we can tear that. And this is actually tearing really easily, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to set that fabric aside and I'll fold that up and put it away later. Um, my little scraps that I tore off will get set in the box where I'm keeping all my little pieces. And then these little strings that you pull off from the sides, you want to keep those too because we can use those later. I'm going to put them in my little bowl here where I've got my bobbin and other little little tiny scraps. Okay, make sure this piece came out okay. Okay, so my next thing is to decide which I want to be the front and which I want to be the back. Okay, and also you can do things, you can collage on this, you can use glue and paper or glue and fabric or sew things on, whatever you want. Um, with this one, I know this isn't fabric, but it was paper. I sewed around all these things. I mean, you can see uh, there's a lot of sewing on here, but there's also a lot of gluing. Some things that like the, well, no, that I did so on. Okay, well, there are sometimes some gluing. Um, on my orange one, I don't think I sewed at all on the cover. Yeah, I sewed on this piece of fabric. Yeah, I did sew these on, but you could glue. Anyway, I, I like to sew, you know that, so my stuff tends to be sewed. But on this one that I'm making for the winter, this is sewed, but this is glued here. And all this ribbon and all these beads are glued. Okay, so you can sew or glue. And you can, if you use a good glue like this, or Fabri-Tac, you can glue on your fabric. The last few covers that I've made, I've left plain and then I have lace for a tie and I love it. And so I'm just gonna leave the front cover plain. So I need to decide which of these I want to be the front and then I'm gonna set it aside. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half. Okay, so that I know how much is going to be the front cover. I didn't get that folded quite right. So let's fix that. Okay, and remember that you're not going to be able to see this. This is just the inside. It's to keep it stiff. So, do I like that? That's really nice. Or do I like that? Okay, I think of those two. I like this one better. Okay, or do I like that? Or that? Nope this one here. Okay, so this is going to be my front cover. I'm not doing anything at all to this. So I'm going to set it aside. Back cover, I mean the inside cover, however, I'm going to be sewing this card into. So let's get that figured out. And the easiest way actually is to pretend like it's on the outside, even though it's going to be on the inside, but this way we can see what that half is going to look like better. I may end up trimming this a little bit because actually I have a lot of fabric sticking off the end. It's kind of funny. Okay, so do I want... Okay, so it would actually be like this. Or do I want... It would be like this. I think I like this one better. Okay, so I'm going to sew it in here and I want to make sure that I get it in the cover. Ooh, yeah, that sticks out a long ways past. Somehow I <laughs> didn't quite <coughs> get that quite right. Let's, let's go ahead and tear the edges of this. We do want it to go a little bit beyond the folder, but not that much. That's a little crazy. So let's go ahead and tear that part off because we can use that. I want to tear it all off from one side so that it's big enough. And then we'll tear the same amount from the other one. Okay. 
set that aside and I'm pulling off my little strings that frayed from it and putting those in my little bowl. Okay, yeah, that's much, 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 much better. Okay, not sure why that was so big. Is this other one that big too? Let's keep track of which one's the front, which one's the back. The front one is the bottom one. Let's remember that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off, or tear off, same amount here. The front cover. That just gives me more fabric that I can work with inside the book. And I'll show you some of the things we can do with that. It's really fun. Okay, so here's my inside cover. And now which side did I want again? <laughs> so I want this. I think so. Or this. Oh, maybe it was this. Yeah, it's this. Okay, so. And I'm going to put this in to make sure... That's right. There we go. So this is like the inside cover. Okay, so I'm going to sew it right here. Okay, and I'm sewing it onto the inside cover first before I sew the sew it to the cardstock and before I sew it to the front um, because I don't want the stitching to show through on the front. I'm going to put just a little dab on the back of this card to hold it in place. That's not where I'm gonna be sewing. I'm gonna be sewing around the outside edges, but I just wanna hold it in place real nicely so it doesn't slip around. And I'm not gonna sew this shut because I wanna be able to open it up and write in that. Okay. All right. So let's, oops, I'm sorry, I just bumped the camera, but I don't think we messed it up. All right, so I'm going to um, zigzag inside here, just all the way around the inside of the card. Okay, and I'm stitching it to the fabric. And that little bit of glue is holding it in place so it doesn't slip around and it'll be exactly where I want it to be. And I'll show you when I'm done what I sometimes do, but I decided not to do this time because it would just make it kind of hard to It'd just be harder. And I'm trying to keep this appropriate for beginners. Okay, and then I'm going to sew across the top here. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could have left this as a pocket. Okay, and not sewn across here, but I wouldn't have been able to glue it down. And I just felt like for you all who are newbies, it's just better to keep that easy. Okay, so I've got my card in here. My yeah, I've got my card in here, which I can open up and write on. And I'm going to put this. This is going to be the inside of the cover, so it's going to go this way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just glue a dab. In two places just to hold just to hold it in place well it helps if I open up the glue just to hold it in place while I sew it okay I'm not gluing it to, to hold it forever it's just to hold it in place while I'm sewing it although the glue will hold it forever and if you don't want to sew then you know you can just glue the whole thing this kind of this kind of glue works really really well with fabric so don't hesitate to just use glue if that's what you want to do. If you don't like to sew or you don't have a sewing machine, don't let that stop you. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this over so I can make sure that the inside is all smoothed out the way that I want it to and that's all even. Yes, okay. I'm gonna put just a dab in the center too. Okay, and a dab in the center over here. I don't usually do that, but 
today I'm feeling like this isn't real secure. It's kind of important that it is. Okay, and then I like to put the fabric side up just so I can see what's going on with the part that's going to show. Um, you're welcome to sew with the fabric side down if you want. I can feel where the card is, so I can feel where the edge is because, of course, you know the fabric is overlapping. It's, okay, and then I want to stop right there for a second. Okay, and I'm kind of pulling this tight while I'm doing it, but I don't have to pull it real tight because the glue is holding it in place. Okay, I'm sewing around again. Actually, I'm going to do the top before I sew the sides. Do the top and the bottom so that they're even because I feel like there's some fabric that's kind of shifting here. Okay, now if you didn't have this card here, then you could kind of roll this up to stick it under there. But I do have that card there, and so that wouldn't work very well. So I'm just going to come from this side. And that's another reason why I glue it, so that um, I don't have to worry so much about the fabric kind of shifting and bubbling in the center, kind of. Okay. And we'll just check and make sure that this all got sewed, got caught in it. Yes, it did. And we're going to be sewing this again when we add the front on it. So it will get sewn again. Okay, and then I'm going to sew the sides. I mean, you could sew this all at one time, the front and the back to it, but I just find that it's a lot easier this way. And extra stitching is not going to hurt anything. If anything, it's going to hold it more securely. Okay, how are we doing on time? Oh, this might be vertical. I'm so sorry if it is. You guys, I can't figure out why it does that. Hopefully you can see it well enough. You might have to watch it on a computer if you need to see any details. Although this doesn't have a lot of detailed stuff, so hopefully It'll be okay on your phone if that's how you're watching it. Okay, so that's the back cover. All right, and then I'm going to put the front cover on. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I've got to make sure that I've got the front cover going the way that I wanted it to, which I think that was it, right? Not that. Yes, this is it. Okay, so got the front. I want to make sure that I've got the card on the inside. Yes. Okay, so then I want to put a little bit of glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the center. I don't want to put too much because that might make it difficult when I go to bind it, which isn't going to be real soon, but oh, it's closed. Yes, it does help. Always remember to open your glue. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, that's a little gloppy. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bit on this side just to hold it in place and a little bit on this side and I'm going to spread that out some so it's not all gloppy. I don't know if you guys can see it or if I've got the book in the way. <laughs> My hands are too full. Okay, and then I want to put this hopefully in the center, but it'll let me move it if I don't have it centered. and put it down. I don't think I have it centered. Sorry if I'm mumbling. I think I've been mumbling a lot today when I've been... I've, this is like my sixth or seventh video that I'm making today because <laughs> it's my day off from my teaching job and so I want to get as many of these done as I can. And it's about to get dark so this is going to be the last one. Okay, so that's all smooth and glued in place and everything looks like it matches up fine. I'll probably trim it over here because you can see the inside fabric is showing some and the same thing over here. That's okay. We have enough overlapping that it doesn't matter a whole lot, but I will um, trim that off. Okay, so let's do, yeah, let's do the top first. Okay, and again, we're going to zigzag. I'm, I'm feeling to make sure that I'm getting where the card is, where the file folder is. Okay, and then I'm holding it kind of straight here because I want to 
We'll make sure that this stays smooth. Doesn't get any bubbles in it. Although with this busy of a pattern on the fabric, I don't think you would notice if there are bubbles in it. <laughs> That's the advantage. Okay, and then same thing down here at the bottom. And I have at times just sewn all the way around, but I find with fabric sometimes it stretches some, so it's better to do the top and the bottom and then the sides. And it'll just come out smoother. Smoother, more smooth, smoother. I think that's okay, right? Okay. And then let's sew the back here. Yeah, I'm gonna trim off some there. It does stick quite a ways out. That's okay, it's always better to have more and then be able to cut it off than to have too little and no way to fix it. Although there's almost always a way to fix it. You can add a contrasting fabric in the corners or something. Okay, so here I've got this. I wanna make sure that that doesn't get in the way. Open up and get in the way. Okay, so here we go. And I'm using a beige thread. I have found that just two colors work really, really well beige and white. When I have something that's more of the cold colors, the cool colors, then I use the white. And for things that have, you know, more of these warm colors like this, then I use beige. And that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and if the video cuts off, then you're not missing anything. I'm just going to tear, I'm cutting, cutting a little bit, and then I'm going to tear this part right here. Actually, maybe I should cut it from this side. Okay, so that these are even with each other. So I don't have, well, <laughs> so I don't have any white parts showing. I'm, you know, I'm cutting it instead of tearing it, but it's still going to fray, so it'll be okay. Um, and I think on this side there was some white showing right here, so we're going to cut that off. And then we are done. Okay, and let's, if we haven't lost the video yet, Good. There's the inside front. I'm not going to bind it yet because we still have things that we want to sew into the pages, but this is just going to help protect it. So that's what it's going to look like. And then we'll use lace or something as a closure. Okay. I think I might trim off some of this. See how far it comes out from the stitches? So I'll probably trim some of that off too. I don't want it to be right up to the stitches though. And look at how nice that looks inside. I love it, you guys. Do you love it? Isn't that gorgeous? That's so pretty. Okay, I love you all. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.